partisanship completely dead. Our senior political correspondent, Candy Crowley, sat down with two longtime senators who say, no, not yet anyway. You all almost came to the Senate together a yeah. um, couple of years That's apart. Years right. He is a conservative from Indiana. He is a liberal from Vermont. Theirs was a friendship born in obscurity. Two very junior senators at the far reaches of a committee room table. Herman Talmadge and Jim Neeson were cut some deal and, and neither one of us could hear what they were muttering and I said, well, wait, wait a minute, could I ask what was in that amendment? And you could see the total look down like, who the heck are these two guys that he had, takes his gavel and said, we're adjourned. So After more than 35 years, Patrick Leahy and Richard Luger are senior senators now. A lot has changed, except the friendship. It has proven stronger in their political differences. Luger ran for president in 1996. Just out of curiosity, had Senator Luger won the Republican nomination, would you have gone to him in a voting booth and voted for him? Mercy. <laughs> well, what I wonder was on this, I find it very difficult not to vote for him. They know each other's families. They have visited each other's states. Poor guy had to take back so much of the ladies of Vermont maple syrup with it. But uh, Pat introduced me to all the leaders of the state, Republicans and Democrats, and really to the state. Uh, to why he was so interested in dairy, for example, or why certain things were occurring vis-a-vis -vis other New England states it was, it was tremendous. And that's the thing. This is not just about close friends who accept their different views. This is about getting stuff done. The pair revamped the Agriculture Department and pushed out two major agriculture bills in the 1990s, the Luger-Leahy Farm Bill and the Leahy-Luger Farm Bill. There are other bipartisan friendships on the Hill. Probably happens more than you see. It does not as happen as much as it should. Mm -hmm. And Luger thinks that's a shame. Or even if they disagree sharply, that they have really compassion and respect for each other as human beings. There will be things in which we're not going to be on the same page, but we will not uh, really literally commit political suicide to stop each other. These days, fundraising and trips back to the state take up enormous amounts of time. Many lawmakers don't even move their families to Washington. A pity. Dick's son and daughter-in-law and our our daughter and son-in-law live about 100 yards from each other and there's a little playground right nearby and you see the kids playing there all the time they're, uh, they're trading toys we call it the bipartisan <laughs> playground uh, Sean and I cherish those moments too with John and Kelly Luger and their three very beautiful children uh, they literally are that close to Pat's beautiful children this year, the senior senator from Indiana and the senior senator from Vermont are working together on retooling the school lunch program and on two refugee immigration bills. <laughs> One authored by Leahy Luger, the other by Luger Leahy. Candy Crowley, CNN, Washington.